It's about a, uh, a group of Canadian painters who eventually became the Group of Seven, which is one of our uh, sort of our original and most iconic painters in Canada. Um, they painted a hundred years ago, and the film follows um, several of them that went up to a particular part of northern Ontario and painted um, uh, that area. And uh, it also follows three modern-day kind of treasure hunters that are following in their footsteps, finding the exact location where these iconic artists painted their, their paintings. Was uh, negotiating 30 cast and crew in a remote location without running water or, or power and for an extended length of time and mountain climbing and forging rivers. I learned or was reminded uh, Lauren Harris, who's one of the painters, said, um, a word to Canada, believe in the artist. Um, and, and they were told that there was no, no reason to paint Canadian art because we didn't have any art tradition in our country. And that was a hundred years ago, and you would think that in 2015, all of our artists would be celebrated. Our nation would know who are all of our artists are. We would value our Canadian film. We would get value our Canadian writers, that all of them value our Canadian television and our, our visual artists. Um, but we, we don't, as much as other countries do, we don't, unless our, our talent becomes recognized in the United States, for example. And I think that I, I learned to to celebrate not only sort of my own experience as a creative person in our country, but to talk about and to be, you know, start the conversation again about uh, sort of celebrating and valuing our own talent. We're not, we're not known as passionate, great passionate people or as a culture, and I think it's, you know, getting to know these artists, you can see Canadians in a very different way.